Um, I'd like to join with my colleague Senator Barrett in welcoming uh, George Hamilton. He and I were colleagues uh, together um, as far back as the Moscow Olympics and um, the trajectory of both our careers have gone, and, uh, let's say in the case of George, much higher than mine and couldn't happen to a nicer person. Um, I'd like to continue the theme uh, that uh, was um, proposed or initiated by my colleague, uh, the leader of the Fianna Fáil group, Senator O'Brien, in the context of the Gar the Pay. And, uh, leader, I find it somewhat extraordinary that the Labour Party, on one hand, are talking about inequality and unfairness in society and that this is part of their philosophy to address it. And on the other hand, in the last week alone, uh, statistically it has been proven that young graduates are leaving this country in droves. Young graduates in nursing because they're not getting proper pay and conditions. Young graduates in teaching because they're not getting enough pay, proper pay and conditions. And Gardaí who are putting themselves in the line of fire uh, in, in, in real terms in the line of fire and are being treated abysmally in terms of pay and conditions. And while it's rather interesting to hear the spin being put on the fact that recruitment uh, has restarted, the reality is that the net loss of the Gardaí to the Gardaí through retirements and other reasons and career breaks means that in fact they're over 200 short of 12,000, which is way below the figure that we in Fianna Fáil have proposed of return to government will increase to 14,000 because it is needed and anybody who lives in rural Ireland particularly will know that there are more Gardaí needed on the, on, the, on, the, on the ground. So when you think about it, here you have a very well-educated cohort in our society who want to stay in Ireland, who want to work and live in Ireland. They graduate as nurses and we're told that there's a nursing shortage. The government have failed abysmally to attract back nurses under a scheme that they proposed last year. I think some figure that's less than 50 have taken it up. Why? Because they're not getting proper pay and conditions commensurate with what they, have, what they have learned and not only that but in a competitive environment they've been taken out of the country. Teachers, extraordinary that a couple of years ago that we had teachers who couldn't get jobs. Now we have a teacher shortage that's going to get worse according to, uh, to public information. It's going to get worse, despite the fact that the government have, have said that they're going to provide an extra uh, significant number of places next September. But there won't be any around, leader. There'll be none of them. They'll be over in Dubai, where they're getting more paid than they're getting here. Tax-free. So I'm calling on the Minister for Expenditure, Minister Howland, to come before this House to talk about these group of people. And what are the government in its dying days planning to do about it? To give some meaning to the whole question of how you treat people in society who have gone through the education system, who are, have a reasonable expectation of having jobs in their own country and find that they can't do it because they're not getting enough pay and the conditions under which they're asked to operate are totally unacceptable. So I'm proposing an amendment to the order of business to call in uh, Minister Howland before the House. Thank you. Uh, Senator